My name is Claire Maroney and I'm a nurse practitioner in Sunnybrook's Odette Cancer Center. I saw a better way to convey hope and manage distress in patients with primary brain tumors during the palliative part of their treatment journey through an innovative approach called Dignity Therapy. Some of our patients with primary brain tumors unfortunately are given a poor prognosis and have limited treatment options. We wanted to see if providing Dignity Therapy might help to reduce their level of psychological distress and improve their quality of life. Dignity Therapy is a novel psychotherapeutic intervention for patients near the end of life that has been studied and proven to work in other settings, particularly palliative inpatient populations. This brief intervention was developed by Dr. Harvey Chachanoff, a palliative care psychiatrist. His intention was to reduce the psychological and existential distress of terminally ill patients and their families. I wanted to see if we could apply this same intervention to patients in the outpatient setting at the Odette. To assess the feasibility and impact of providing dignity therapy in an adult ambulatory oncology care setting, I conducted a practice-based research study. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Mario. How are you doing? Hello. You want to come into my office? Yes. Yes. I was overseas at our house because mother had a small child. I was the small child. The way it works is patients are asked a series of questions by a trained health professional aimed at exploring meaning and purpose in their lives. It allows them to recount special life events and offers them the opportunity to share their hopes and wishes for their loved one's future. We start out by asking patients to pretend like they are looking at a photo album of their life and to stop when they get to the page of the album they would like to talk about. This really provides patients a unique opportunity to look back on their lives and identify important events and accomplishments that shaped who they are and what their values are. So we're going to the interview is audio recorded, transcribed, and then edited to form an easily readable legacy document. The legacy document is to be given to the patient and then remains with loved ones and family members once the patient has passed away as a means of providing comfort as well as reducing anxiety and distress during such a stressful and difficult time. In many instances, the legacy document has been incorporated into wedding ceremonies, obituaries, and eulogies, allowing families to remember their loved ones in a positive and intimate manner. The results of the study have been positive so far. Not only has the intervention allowed patients and families to speak more freely about end-of-life issues, but it's also allowed the staff involved in the project to feel more connected to patients during their journey, and this has provided them with a high level of satisfaction as clinicians. My most memorable moments in incorporating Dignity Therapy into my practice include the stories of the impact it has had long after the patient has passed away. The impact of this intervention truly lives on when it matters most.